today we need to get into Hype revealing everything and posting about BTS and everyone's getting very excited. We also need to get into a video showing that V is in the special forces and people thinking that he might be injured and all that. And then we have a photo of V holding a specific weapon and people were talking about that as well. So you don't lose this Dave Desai hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. So people were very excited after seeing a specific photo of V holding a weapon. And people were not used to seeing V in this way. So people were very excited to see him do something different. And of course, something like this. Of course, a lot of people were not happy about this as in they just didn't want to see V in this light. However, of course, they knew that he was in the military and that would require him to hold a gun. There was a lot of conversation about him in the special forces. So if you're unaware, there are different ranks in the military. And after the training or the initial training, the particular soldier is allowed to apply for other positions, either that be higher or whether that's cooking or whatever it is. And they get into those things by either, I think, auditioning for it or they have to show significant results in their training. So they have to be like the best within their colleagues. Now, V was definitely seen as a really successful soldier, and he ended up getting into the special forces. People were writing things and saying that V, when he holds a gun and when he shoots, that he never misses and that he is just an amazing soldier. Other people were calling V an ace because he is good at everything. He is a great singer, he's a great dancer, a model, and of course, a soldier as well. I think that's tricky for him because there are two things going for him. One, there's him not wanting to disappoint his supporters and wanting to be the best. So him working really, really hard to be the best because he knows that there's a lot of eyeballs on him and that he's already being seen as an example. Since he is an idol, he wants to be an idol to everyone at the camp. On the other side of this, and something that can also be working for him, is the camp and the officers at the camp want to portray the military in a good way. So they want someone who is also very talented, but at the same time very famous, and has a lot of influence to be at the top. This is of course so the military can look good, and it serves as a sort of Korean propaganda. Of course, this isn't entirely true, because not every celebrity that goes into the military moves up in rank so fast. So I don't think that the key determinant in a soldier getting a promotion or an idol getting a promotion. But I think it is one of the things that they do consider. Other people have felt very proud and very happy that V is the one that the Ministry of Defense has chosen to represent the military. So the military in South Korea is very strong. So they have schools, they have a bunch of stuff that people can literally train in and since they're born. And it's considered a very big deal and it's such an honor to serve. V has moved up very quickly and that has represented the Military of Defense's respect and loving him. And I agree, I think not only is he super famous, but clearly he is super talented and super hardworking. And it's not even about hard work completely because I think a lot of people can try really hard to do some of the stuff that he's done, whether that be successful in their career or whether that be in the military. I think a lot of people would not reach the level that he has just because they might not have as much stamina as he might or whatever it is. Now, recently a lot of stuff has come out and it's gotten people excited. Specifically, V was in the news because he dropped something a little while ago that seem to be relevant now. So Label released their trailer for Monochrome. I don't know what this is yet and I don't think there's too much information on what it'll be, whether that is going to be a one-off single or whether that's going to be like another album that the BTS members were working on before they enlisted. So we don't know until it comes out. But apparently not too long ago, it was believed that V went to Jeju and took some pictures. And these pictures that he took probably were not related to when he went to Jeju. However, when he did go to Jeju, he did take some pictures of him with flowers. So people thought at the time they were related. Now, these new photos came out and it was photos of all the members. And we got to see all the members appearing like they're holding the same flower as the one we had seen before. And of course we see V's old picture within that collection as well. So that's how we know like, oh, these were taken a really long time ago and probably around that timeline. Other people think that the monochrome thing is gonna be a reference to the most beautiful moment in life. And if you're not sure of what that is, the Korean name for it is HYYH. And this is basically supposed to be a music video series that told a story and a story of abuse and time travel and it's just a fictional story and many people think that the next chapter of bts is going to be the continuation of that story as that story never ended and it never got full closure bts decided to do the english album and that sort of stuff or they were in america and they were trying to do i think boy with love and that sort of stuff so they kind of stopped that album series in the middle of the plot however there had been some hints to the most beautiful moments in life and one particular one was 
that was brought up again was during BTS's Grammy performance. So BTS performed Butter, I believe, and during the backdrop of one of the solos, we got to see a bunch of photos that were referencing the most beautiful moment in life era. And people are now thinking it's connected to this current era and that they were hinting this way back then when they did the Grammy performance, which was years ago now. So I love that. I love that they were planning this or at least thinking about it. And who knows if they had thought about it and they were planning on releasing it much sooner, but they decided to release it now because they're away and there's nothing else happening. Who knows? Because sometimes the way things work is artists will plan on releasing a song, but then sometimes something else will come up and they realize, oh, we need to go a different direction. So they just, they don't just throw away the songs they worked on. They might just keep it and then release it later. And now could be later. Of course, with that said, the members all have a lot coming out and a lot of stuff for us to be excited about. That of course makes us worry if the members are taking care of themselves or are being okay. Recently, B posted a photo on Weverse where we saw a bunch of scars on his back and it was likely from either just holding a lot of weapons on his back or like maybe he hit something, I don't know. The internet went crazy and people were very scared as was he pushing himself too hard? Which I'm gonna be honest, the answer is definitely yes because obviously he has these scars so he's pushing himself. But on top of that, the military isn't really gonna let you not push yourself. There's gonna be someone watching you and pushing you to your limits. That's why everyone in the military is so buff. You don't get that way by not pushing yourself. Now, circling back to that photo of V holding a sniper, people were very curious about this and there was some news that came out about this. Apparently, there was a video that was recorded and soon to be posted on YouTube by the soldiers of the Special Forces where they were recording V and I'm assuming themselves as well and showing the process. And so when this was announced, people were absolutely going crazy because not only are we going to see V holding a sniper, we're going to see him do his exercises and do his training and do the thing that people in their in the special forces would do, which is kind of hot. Of course, one of the photos that came out was just with the face mask, but you can kind of see his eyes and hair as well as other soldiers behind him. And people were talking about how handsome he looked just from that photo. Many other people were talking about the level of athleticism and IQ needed for someone to move up in the ranks so quickly and do it with such grace like how V does. And this is absolutely true. People don't know how talented someone is until situations like this come out. And I think when you look at the fields of K-pop and you look at entertainment in general, you pretty much tend to think, well, most artists probably can sing and dance and that's like the bare minimum. And especially if all you watch is BTS, you get normalized to this idea of good dancing. And so when they're not dancing as well, because it's hard to dance at the level they do, you're gonna think that that's odd and worse than normal, when in reality, it's still better than what most people can do. And in this case, we really can see it because he is directly being compared to the other soldiers and with people in history who have been in the military. And we can see it very clearly that he excels at many, many things and thus is a force to be reckoned with. The Special Forces video was supposed to be a training video or just a video that was meant to be seen with Special Forces people. It was never supposed to be a public thing. However, the video is believed to be eventually posted on YouTube if it's not already being posted on YouTube. So very exciting to see V in that light and very excited to see what the video is about. This is such a big deal and the reason why if even V eventually dies or gets old, there'll be a video of him training people and that would be great and it would welcome new soldiers and potentially it'll be a permanent thing. I don't think the military is ever gonna wanna replace that video. I think having that video is going to make the soldiers and the people come into the military very excited to be there. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for the comments right here. Love you. Bye.